Good morning, Hoosiers, and welcome to Paper News 24-7, brought to you by the Paper of Montgomery County Online in Living Color from the Paper's Control Room in downtown Crawfordsville. I'm Stu Clampett with your top headlines for Wednesday, March 30th, 2011. Today's news is brought to you in part by the National Guard. There's a moment you reach deep inside yourself and you find the courage to fight through the elements and you find the strength to save a life. These are the kinds of moments you'll experience in the National Guard. If you've got it inside you, then this is your time to act. Visit the National Guard online at nationalguard.com or call 1-800-GO-GUARD. In our top story today, then there were three fewer candidates this week. Tom Rule and George Parker withdrew from the city primary. They joined Jim Morris, who also withdrew after the filing deadline passed on February 18th. Morris, a Republican, was a candidate for the Ward 4 City Council seat currently held by Roger Rockenbaugh, who chose not to run for re-election. Rule, also a Republican, was a candidate for one of the two at-large seats in the City Council. George Parker is the Ward 3 City Councilman. He withdrew his name on Monday. A list of candidates currently on the ballot for the May 3rd primary can be found in today's paper. In other news, a special time has been planned for ladies of all ages. April 16th at the Masonic Temple in Crawfordsville, the program is called Beautiful You, and it's all about a relaxing day of laughter, singing, pictures, food, makeovers, all for free. No matter how you feel about how you look, the choices you've made, things that have happened, or what's missing in your life, this gathering is for you, ladies. The schedule is April 16th, 10.30 a.m. registration, 11 a.m. to 1.30 banquet, 1.30 to 3 o'clock makeovers at the Masonic Temple, 221 South Washington Street in Crawfordsville. You can see the Cool Clicks section of our website found on the right navigation bar for more information. Betty Monroe of Crawfordsville was surprised Monday night when she was singled out to wear a red hat and a feather boa during a show at Johnny Provolone's on Main Street in Crawfordsville. Betty and her husband, Dick Monroe, were on hand for a fundraiser to support the New Light Singers of Wabash Avenue Presbyterian Church. More than $500 was raised to pay production costs for Godspell and for Summer Theater. That's according to John Blair, who was one of the founders of the New Light Singers. Don't forget that through the end of the NCAA tournament, paper trivia questions are all about basketball. If you're a basketball trivia buff, then click on this tile on our homepage to go to the paper trivia section. If you answer the question correctly, you could be our next winner. Today's question is about Indiana teams making the NCAA championship in the last 10 years. Crawfordsville's Deb Cedars is putting his 180 beer steins on display for the first time to raise money for the Animal Welfare League. You can see the display at the Quality Inn on Thursday and Friday, 1 p.m. to 6 p.m., and on Saturday from 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. A new government directory has been published by the League of Women Voters in Montgomery County. The new directory is a brand new format and contains much more information than previous editions. You should call 361-2136 if you want a copy. Plans are nearly complete for the 2011 Basketball Heritage Celebration at 1 p.m. April 16th. There will be a brief ceremony at 103 West Main Street in Crawfordsville. A historic marker will be unveiled commemorating the site of some of the earliest Indiana basketball games. And reception will begin at 2 p.m. at the Athena Center featuring memorabilia from county teams. Frank Phillips' guest this week on Frankly Speaking is Conrad Harvey from the Montgomery County Historical Society. Frankly Speaking can be found under webcast on the top navigation bar of our website. And also under webcast, you can now find some of the Historical Society's videos. Two of the videos mentioned in this week's Frankly Speaking are there now. More will be available in the weeks to come. Paper News 24-7 is brought to you in part by the Indiana Poison Center. Children act fast, so do poisons. Call the Indiana Poison Center at 1-800-222-1222 for poison prevention tips. The Poison Center offers free treatment and prevention advice 24 hours a day. Local weather with Paul Poteet in Studio B and local sports with Candace Rorman are both up next. Bad wrecks happen to good people. That's why people take their wrecks to the good people at Gould's Body and Paint in Crawfordsville. Gould's will work with your insurance company to provide an accurate quote of your needed repairs. Then the ICAR Gold Class Specialists take over, restoring your vehicle to good as new. Schools will service any make, any model, any type, or amount of damage. Just remember our motto, at Gould's Body and Paint, our business is a wreck.
time for another update on the weather for Montgomery County. Hello there. I'm meteorologist Paul Poteet, Indiana's weatherman, direct from Studio B and sponsored by Gould Body and Paint. Gould Body and Paint at 607 Waynetown Road in Crawfordsville. You know them, Diana, Don, you give them a call and tell them Paul sent you. Phone number is 364-1067, Gould Body and Paint, where their business is a wreck. And we had a little bit of uh, cloudiness around for the first part of the day today, but we should see some clearing into the afternoon hours. Yet another weather maker is off to the southeast. Let's first look at the weather map so you can get an idea of where we're situated. And you'll see an area of low pressure oh, centered this afternoon down around Atlanta. Some of the effects of that move back up to the north around mainly the Ohio River Valley today where they could see a little bit of snow. Sprinkles, flurries, possible for the first part of today, and then clearing in the afternoon as that low moves away, replaced by, yes, high pressure that you see back out to the west and to the northwest of us. There could be some heavy snow today in parts of, say, Pennsylvania, some of the mountains of West Virginia, so a little bit of winter hangs on. Severe thunderstorms are also possible across maybe the extreme southern part of Alabama and Georgia and then into the panhandle of Florida and uh, much of Florida today, except for the, the southern tip. Could see some rough weather. Otherwise, some scattered stuff also back to the northwest. So with this low pressure just to the southeast of us, what does that mean for Indiana today? Well, it means that we'll continue to be on the cool side. Here's a chart of some of the temperatures across the area. In Indianapolis, the high right up around the mid-40s may actually be a little bit warmer the farther west you go because that's where the sun will be coming out first. And a couple of symbols that say rain and snow. That's mainly to the southeast of Indianapolis on the light side. Certainly snow, snow accumulation to deal with with expected high temperatures getting into the mid-40s today. I did find some reason for optimism, though, if you like uh, the warm weather like I do. If you look at the 8 to 14 day forecast, now all of a sudden we're back into the above normal category again as far as temperatures go. So uh, this would see this would cover a period, as you see here, going into April. And that 8 to 14 day temperature forecast for us is just above normal in the southern part of the state, near normal into northern Indiana. At the very least, that means that by this point, April 6th through the 12th, we'd be into the 60s for high temperatures, up around 60. As far as precipitation goes, could be kind of a bumpy ride. There you can see that is above normal for April 6th through April 12th. So there will be some moderation uh, by the end of next week and going into the week after that. All right, for the next seven days, here's your forecast from PaulPoteet.com. Today, we expect skies to become partly cloudy after a cloudy start, a high into the mid-40s. Tomorrow, upper 40s, nicest day of the week, I think, partly to mostly sunny for Thursday. Chances of showers Friday and a high around 50, and gradually back into the mid, maybe upper 50s by Sunday. Most of the weekend will be dry, but there is a chance of rain Sunday night going into Monday. Monday mild, and then it may cool off again briefly on Tuesday of next week. And that is your forecast. I'll see you all day long. There's always something fun going on. Or if you need the weather, you can go also to paulpoteet.com. And, of course, for the latest local news, weather and sports, you're at the right place. And stay tuned for more of Paper News 24-7. I'm Bob Zahn of Zahn's Floor Covering. And floor covering is our passion for your home. At Zahn's, we offer ceramic, granite, marble, laminates, and beautiful natural hardwoods, and we do them better than anyone else. Come by Zahn's Floor Covering, see the flooring possibilities available to your home, all backed by personal service, professional installation, and a three-year warranty. Come by Zahn's Floor Covering today and see why we want to be everywhere you walk. The Nobles baseball team chose a rather tough opponent to open up their season with, as the Noblesville Millers held the fourth preseason ranking among all 4A teams. The Athenians also held a preseason ranking for the 3A class at number five. However, the Millers were able to defeat the Athenians 8-1 on Tuesday night. The Lady Athenians also fell, as they allowed six runs in the first inning to the Rocksville Rocks. The Rocks were able to win 17-2. 
Southmont, however, earned their first win of the season through the work of Southmont junior pitcher Joe Ruiz. Ruiz recorded 10 strikeouts to earn the first win of the season. The Chargers also were able to win in their, in their season opener against Attica. They were able to win 6-0 on the road with the help of Braden Carpenter. Braden Carpenter threw six strikeouts in the game in his five innings. He allowed only three hits. Also on Tuesday, Southmont Softball won 8-2 over Turkey Run. And North Softball fell. Don't forget to follow Montgomery County Sports at The Paper Sports on Twitter. That's your local news for Wednesday. For more information on these and other stories, visit our homepage or pick up a print copy of the paper in Montgomery County. For Paper News 24-7, I'm Candace Roman. You stay classy, Carpentersville.